thing about when people pass away like that, a lot of people don't know the conversations that were had, plans that were being made. Mm. I was supposed to work with Pimp when he came back home. Okay. We was going to do an album together. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think it was going to be his last album on Rap A Lot or whatever it was. And uh, we were talking. And a lot of strong points I had in my career, I was giving to him. And when he passed away, bro, that it it, it, it devastated me. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. So, Mr. Lee, you, you, I, I listened to that whole last project you did. You went and dealt with a lot of niggas on that project, man. Yeah. I look, I thought, yes, I was like, what the hell? This nigga on there? Because I had to go back and listen to the whole thing. Yeah. How, how important was it for you to touch that in the right way, you know, as far as in the, knowing that this would be the last project? I mean, for me, it was just closure. Because, mm -hmm. uh, think about when people pass away like that, a lot of people don't know the conversations that were had, plans that were being made. Mm. I was supposed to work with Pimp when he came back home. Okay. We was going to do an album together. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think it was going to be his last album on Rap A Lot or whatever it was. And uh, we were talking. And a lot of strong points I had in my career, I was giving to him. And when he passed away, bro, that it it, it, it devastated me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of things, a lot of albums got, got done after he died that I didn't have anything to do with. But when I got the opportunity to do that, it was like me getting closer. I cried yeah. many nights working yeah. on that album. I felt like he was in there with me, too, mm. a couple of times. Listening to them vocals. Huh? Yeah. It's wild. Yeah, looking over my shoulder like, man, yeah. cut my <laughs> you wow. know what I'm saying? But it, it, it was just more than that for me. It was just getting the closure of it for me. Yeah. yeah. I, I really enjoyed it, man. You had a bunch of people on that thing, man. Uh, he mad your friend. I think David Banner was on there. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Rich yeah. one was that? Yeah. Uh, the uh, lad, what pimp? What was it called? He was on that song. Uh, I forgot what the name of the song. No, was. I'm talking about the whole the 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 project was. Uh, it was long live pimp. Long live pimp. Oh, with the oh. white cover. Yeah, yeah. 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 Now I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna get off it. Go now ahead. a lot of that stuff, I had to stop listening to it because it was a lot of shit that went on that nobody knew about. Yep. Players like myself who got taken off a lot of these monumental songs that people would have seen. Damn. Them niggas was making some PA ass shit, some UGK posse ass shit. Yep. Yo. Nigga, our vocals got clean swept off them hoes and other niggas put on them. By the time it got to me, they wasn't even on there. And I know what you're talking about. Yeah. But I ain't disgruntled because the nigga <laughs> got some paper and the nigga get Kagoga every <laughs> yeah. night with some fire ass head and I don't give a fuck because my name is out there like a motherfucker. Come on, man. You man. man. You man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he bought it up. Yeah, 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 I got to. It's my time, nigga. Shit, this ball talk. Hey, man. truth, nigga. Yeah, nah, I, got, yeah I, got, I got a bunch of phone calls unknown <laughs> from people that I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? But I, we, it was all good. We it was some people that was on there? It was, you know, just different people like, hey, man, I was on this song. I was on this. Oh, yeah. Yada, yada. I said, look, bro, I don't. It's not my decision for that. Oh, for sure. And you know I me. Mean? Once we got past, it was all good. Shout out to Beto keeping me on the yeah. couple of the motherfuckers. Beto, <laughs> that's real good, man. Yeah, that's so, my dog. so, so when you, Mister Lee, so when you did that, how how did you go into preparing who you would put on different tracks? Uh, like you said, I talked to Beto. Okay. His wife had some input in in a couple of them, of them and uh, the label, and uh, we just put it together. I know for me, like David Banner was one that I got, and. Uh, it was like two more that I got mm. on there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it was just a collaboration of that. Juicy J was. Juicy J was, was on there? Yeah, he was over the project before I got there. Okay. I can't even say I ever heard it. You really? heard the album? I'm a whole ass nigga when it come down to it. Hey, uh, man. Oh, petty. Man, that <laughs> shit hurt a nigga feelings, man. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, because think about it. If we in here right now creating content for Boss Talk one on one, Something happens, unfortunately. Somebody else get their hands off it. And they sweep everything we did collectively and just replace it. I put it in. I, I talked about wow. that in my book, though. Appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? You know why I talked about it in the book? Because people out here spending their money and their time and their efforts doing a lot of things. Yeah. And when somebody unexpectedly pass away or get killed, yeah. we have sympathy for that family, and we should. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that family don't have no mindset to finish the business or let the business go through that that artist had with other people. Yeah, for real. You have people out there spending twenty thousand dollars on verses, fifteen thousand, mm. ten thousand. Yeah. And then yeah. they get ready to put their records out 
and the family's putting cease and desist on them, telling they can't yeah. put it out. Yeah, yeah. We all get out of here. Everybody has a mistake, makes this this main mistake of getting a feature from an artist or a producer, getting a beat, and don't have no paperwork. Yeah. And when the people pass away, you're screwed. Oh my God. It's gonna be it. some other shit going. You know oh, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So that's something that I wrote about because I want people to be aware of it. Look, man, do your business, get it out because you never know what situation you're gonna mm -hmm. be faced with. And if you don't have paperwork in place, these people are not gonna honor the business that they loved ones was involved oh, no, no, in. No, they no, don't no. care. There's no loyalty in that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.